Hey guys, it's Lee, your independent sensei consultant. Welcome back to my channel and to this kind of Canadian haul. Um, so I ordered some stuff from Melissa and had it sent to my friend Naomi in Canada who very kindly forwarded it on to me and it arrived today. <clears throat> so I have slipped it open just to make it a bit easier. So let's get into it. So no, I know roughly what I ordered. Um, don't remember everything I ordered without going back through my order history, which I won't do, um, though I might. <coughs> Excuse me, just I'm just looking for. I may quickly get up um, Melissa's website um, because I know that I'm not going to know a lot of the scent descriptions. Um, so Naomi has very kindly popped some extra goodies in for me, um, as well as repackaging a lot of the stuff to make it um, more a, um, a transitable, a, yeah, um, to make it safer to send and to make sure it doesn't get too battered. So <coughs> I I did set up a Scentic Club with Melissa, um, which does get shipped to Naomi, um, just because there are a few things that I'm a diehard fan of and we can't get them over here, one thing being spiced eggnog. <coughs> so I did get another brick of this. So, oh, it's um, two pieces. Spiced eggnog is just absolutely beautiful. Um, <clears throat> and this is, I think it's equivalent to like seven, maybe eight. Um, yeah, I think it's about six or seven bars. I mean, a standard Scentsy bar is 74 grams and these are 424 so yeah it's about seven six and a half seven bars to a cube and I mean you can see like the size difference there it's just insane I mean yeah when you look at it like that it's like whoa just yeah so <coughs> picked up another brick of this and Hercules is going to say hello so yes, and I also have a bar of this in my Scentic Club from Melissa. So I'm hoping that we will get this as part of the Scents of the Season collection next year over here. We had Citrus Piss Cider, which the US and Canada had this. So I'm just going to see if I can find the scent notes for this quickly. Um, Hello. Just chat amongst yourselves. Right, so the scent description for this is Grand Clove Simmers in a festive blend of buttergram and creamy eggnog. And it is just such a nice, warm, wintry fragrance. Um, then, this is where I will need to look up some of the scent notes <coughs> because so I'm still um, coughing and this is non-alcoholic because I am doing dry January so I then <coughs> picked up two more bricks so we Sense it club when you reach a certain spend threshold <coughs> you get to pick um, one item at half price which is the same whether you're in the states the uk europe australia new zealand the difference is the states as in us and canada 
have Sensi Bricks as part of Sensi Club, whereas we don't. So I did pick up two more. Yay! Um, so I will pull up the scent description of these because we don't get either of these um, over here. The first one I picked up was Skinny Dipping. So this is fresh green apples perfectly harmonised with refreshing melons and citrus pear and juicy pears even. And I'm going to have to move her because he is... Hey, hello. Hello. Oh. So I've not smelt this nor have I smelt sugar cookie. So let's have a sniff. Oh wow. <clears throat> so Naomi did say that this was quite a nice summery scent. And it really is. I mean, I just it's insane the size of it. This is really nice. Uh, to be honest, I don't I do get pay. I don't necessarily get the apple or melon but I do need to warm it obviously so I do need to chop this up because I will only use a quarter of one of these at a time just because they are so damn huge so there's skinny dipping and then we have one that I know at first um I was, I'm not going to say that I was put off it. Um, I know on its own, Melissa Johnson isn't keen on it. She very much gets Play-Doh. So she already knows which one this is going to be. So this is Sugar Cookie, and it's described as warm, sweet blend of butter, sugar, and creamy vanilla. Now, unlike Melissa, I love Played or as a kid, I loved Play Doh. As an adult, I still like the smell of Play Doh. So I think it was on warm that uh, Melissa was having Play Doh. Ooh, ooh, it's a bit. This one's a bit greasy. Yeah, I obviously. This is quite nice, um, and I know I said to Melissa about using it as a mixer. And she did try it and was, did have more success. That's quite nice. I am intrigued now to see what it's like warm. To me, it reminds me, I do kind of get the creamy, creaminess. And I think for me, it may be a mixer. Um, I'm not sure, on cold, it doesn't smell that strong. So that might make a very good mixer. And it, I mean, it is going to last me for ages. <coughs> and then there were two little gifts in that box off Naomi. So I'm going to see what's in here. Ooh. So these, this isn't Scentsy. Um, ooh. Right, so the first one is a massive pack from Better Homes and Gardens and this is a thankful harvest. Vanilla, roasted pumpkin, nutmeg, spices and molasses scent notes. So we don't get, certainly scentsy, we get very few pumpkin scents in the UK. Um, I'm not sure whether we would get more if I looked a bit harder from different brands. Obviously we don't get Better Homes and Gardens in the UK anyway. But ooh, damn, that's nice. Ooh. That smells really nice. Oh. I didn't know that Naomi was sending these, which is very generous. Um, and that is a good shout. I do really like that. That's really nice. And then the next one, again from Bed Homes and Gardens, is Vanilla and Cookie Crunch. So this is shortbread cookies, buttercream and vanilla. 
Ooh, that does smell like shortbread. If I can get it out of the pack. Okay. Which I'm struggling with. Ooh, that's nice. I would be tempted to try this as a mixer as well. I think possibly because <clears throat> vanilla, vanilla ish scent can be a bit samey on their own but mix them with other things and they do tend to really eat them alive that's nice and so um i haven't long i think it was only t yesterday i changed some of my waxes so <clears throat> i may have to wait a few days um but yes looking forward to trying those and then we do have another box so as I said the two of the bricks the sugar sugar cookie and skinny dipping was part of my scentsy club and the spiced eggnog was part of a one-off order I've done so there's also a mixture in here which was part of the same one-off order and part of my Scentsy Club. So. Ah. So when I've been, ooh. Um, so I've been having a chat with Naomi on um, Zoom and we were chatting about different scents and She's very kindly sent me over some tester pots that she had um, to try. So I will actually I'll go I'll keep those till the end, I think. Um, though to be fair, they you know they are a couple in here that I have tried because we do have them over here. Um, Although, in her defence, um, I did have a f I, I did have a few drinks um, during the couple of hours we were chatting, so I possibly said, oh, I haven't tried that, not realising that I did actually have the tester pots myself. And then they are also, ooh, a couple of goodies, um, a few more good, lovely goodies off Naomi, so... I will keep those until the very end, or towards the end. I'm just confusing myself now. So, I'm just going to try and split this. Um, in two, the ones that I know I popped in my club. <coughs> And ones that were one-offs. So the ones that I'll do the one-offs first because there is a crossover because I've added one of them into a Scentsy Club over there. So the first one is Farm Stand Pumpkin. So I will look this up and the scent description of this is indulgent notes of fresh apple, cinnamon stick, pumpkin and caramel. So there is a bit of a theme here at the moment with pumpkin scents and as I said we don't get them so I grabbed them while I had the opportunity. Oh damn that's nice. I really like that. The thing is <clears throat> most of these are complete blind buys from what other people have said and described in their experiences because a lot of the ones obviously we have I've got the test pots for so I I can smell them before I buy them with the ones from the, the States um, don't have that opportunity so I just have to kind of go on other people's experience but this is good it's really nice it's not a it's not a sweet creamy pumpkin it's a really nice fresh I like that one. So then the next one is um, first day of fall and the description of this is all the best parts are here just picked pumpkin a breath of autumn woods ground nutmeg and a spicy dash of cinnamon. So ooh, that 
this has hints of apple picking I think it's like apple picking has been mixed with something else and I don't know if that's in nutmeg and cinnamon but there's no description of apple being in it but yeah that's that's nice that's very nice and then <clears throat> Now this was one that I picked up in clearance and it's pretty in plaid. So I did grab two bars of this. Um, I'm not sure if it's still on here. Yes, it's still on here. So this is Woody Juniper Berries Jive with Minty Fresh Wintergreen Festive Douglas Fir and Bright Tart Cranberries. So let's have a sniff. Oh my God. That is really different on the top so on the top I did get like the the fur and the cranberries it's even though it says tart cranberries it it is like a slightly sweet but then on the bottom you really do get more of that like I don't know what winter green is but this is what I imagine it's not necessarily pine or it could be the juniper berries but that is really nice which is good because you know I bought two bars of it then the next one breakfast in bed and this is described as wake up to a warm pumpkin pastry filled with black raspberry and topped by a sweet cinnamon drizzle so again more pumpkin I like pumpkin shoot me oh that's different yeah, that's that's creamy. I would say it's creamy pumpkin and cinnamon. Not really getting black raspberry, which I think is blackberry. Maybe it just adds that slight sweetness to it, but that is nice. That is very nice. <clears throat> and then apple butter frosting. So this is let this heartwarming medley of baked cinnamon spiced apples and decadent vanilla buttercream be the icing that finishes your holiday decor. So, as I knock my, smash myself in the face with it. Hmm. I think my face may be saying it all. Um, yeah, this hmm. not for me. Obviously, it may be completely different warm, but I just kind of get vanilla, but not even a decadent vanilla. Um, I'm just getting a very cheap supermarket own brand vanilla essence whereas I was almost expecting like a Nielsen Massey vanilla extract the way it's described as decked in vanilla buttercream um, yeah that I'm disappointed with that one but obviously like with any fragrance this is my own personal opinion um, I've heard people rave about how nice this one is and you know it it may change upon warming but on cold it, it honestly it's a bit meh for me however it's one that I will warm um, because obviously it may be nice to warm if not this will become a mixer and then the last one from the one-off order. So this one has actually been discontinued now. Um, so this one I ordered bar and then I did actually add it to my scented pub as well, <coughs> which is why I said there was one where there was a crossover. So this is NFL's Gridiron Rush and it's described as supercharged citrus and crisp apple set the stage for game day on the gridiron while a dash of fresh cut grass and sleek sandalwood surge into the 
should have already opened the website rather than just gone for the preview. Uh, Surge into the end zone. And I know Melissa said that it has like this lemony, citrusy um, note, I think. So give it a go. Ooh. Okay. Um, I'm so glad I added this to my Sensi Club before it discontinued because on Cold Sniff, I really like this. Mmm. Oh. Okay, so this, this one for me is, is really good and I'm so happy that I took the risk and added it to my Sensi Club um, before I tried it because I would be gutted now um, if I hadn't. Because obviously, you keep hearing me talk about Sensi Club in various videos. So for those of you that don't know what Sensi Club is, it's basically a subscription service where you can have stuff delivered to you on a monthly, bi-monthly or quarterly basis. Um, it's for any consumables, so waxes, fragrance pods, uh, diffuse oils, light bulbs, scent circles, scent packs, anything that basically runs out. If a product is discontinued, as long as it remains in the Scentic Club, as long as a wax bar product is discontinued, as long as it remains in your Scentic Club, Scentic will continue to make it and supply you with it. The only exception is, say like in the case of this, if the license agreement with Scentsy and NFL expire, then obviously legally they cannot continue to produce it. But that's obviously very rare. Certainly their own brand products, they will continue to make it for you. So any that you really like, it's well worth getting a Scentsy Club just for that. Especially as certainly this time of year, as we transition from one catalogue to another, seasonal scents do go into the vault, they don't always come back out. So just because something sold well this year, or just because you bought a lot of it this year, it doesn't mean it will come back, say, like, uh, let's just say, um, this one that I've already done. So apple butter frosting, you bought six bars of it throughout the last six months. It's going away now because we're moving into spring summer scents. You think, yeah, I'll stock up on that next year when it comes back. It doesn't come back. You're done. Pop it into a scent club and this time next year you will still be receiving it. So yes, NFL, Gridiron Rush, um, really can't wait to try that. So that brings me on to the other bars during my Sensor Club, uh, NFL Gridiron Rush, and oops, another one that I won't bother going through the scent note for is Spice Eggnog, and the reason that this is in my Sensor Club is because I really want to keep having it because it is absolutely lush. And no, at the moment my Sensor Club over in the States is quarterly, which means I'll get like three or four bars of this a year in the hopes that we get it next year and then I can take it out of that club and add it into my UK club. One that I have spoke about before but I will speak about it again and that is Scary Good. So this is pumpkin puree sprinkled with fresh cinnamon encounters toasted butterscotch and creamy vanilla in a spooky yummy treat. So I did have a bar of this um, in a friend swap off Naomi, did really really like it and I did want more so I may, I don't know, I've now got one full bar and one bar that I think I've like used two cubes out of so I may, I may take it out of my Sensi Club now in the hopes that it comes back next year, if not now, I do have a few pumpkin based scents to keep me going through next year. And then the last one, which was another one that I had from Naomi in a friend swap a little while ago. Um, and it's one that I have actually used at the moment as a mixer. Um, 
and that is almond croissant. So this one is a fresh baked croissant is made even more heavenly with cinnamon sugar and an infusion of almond. I don't get cinnamon sugar. I don't get cinnamon from it at all. I definitely get almond croissant. Um, if you walk into a bakery, shove your nose in a tray of almond croissants, this is, this is what it is. So that is really, really nice. Um, that one, I think that one will stay in my centre club over there, certainly for perhaps another one or two rounds. Pizza again, it, there's no guarantee that it, it will become available for purchase next year. Um, actually, no, I think I'll get one more bar of it and then it'll come out just because, you know, I have to be sensible. Ah, cat. Have to be sensible about the fact that you know we may get it over here next year so then on to the little gifts from naomi let me just move hades out of the way so i'll go to the tester pots oops do excuse the noise so we have oh rainbow sherbet so this is one I've heard loads of people rave about. Ooh, that's nice. That is really nice. Um, let me see if I can get the scent notes. So Rainbow Sherbet is, it's a classic orange zest, sugared strawberry, key lime, zing, just like the real thing. And that's really nice. That is really, really nice. And again, it's such a shame that I wish that we had some that rotated. Um, it would be lovely if you, if we knew that once it, the states have had this winter or summer that we would get the following year. But my experience so far is that's not always the case. Then the next one is aloe vera and ivy. So this is cool aloe vera entwined with climbing ivy and a splash of watery melon. Ooh, that smells like honeydew melon. That is really nice. That is very nice. Then we have first day of fall and this is described as all the best parts are here. Just pick pumpkin, a breath of autumn woods, grown nutmeg in the Oh, hang on. Have I ordered a bar of that? I've ordered a bar of it and didn't realise. So yeah, I won't bother going through that one. Um, and, and, and. So I'm just, yeah, there are a couple here that So there were one or two that I've smelt and I have, um, also in the test pot. Um, so I'm just going to go through the ones that I haven't smelt just so that, you know, it's pointless spending time smelling ones that I've got. So, uh, first one, ooh, oh, that's nice which is Harvest Blessing. So this is Radiant Apple, Spiced Pumpkin and Smooth Oak embody everything you love about autumn. And again, it's pumpkin. So what is it not to like? Then the next one, Caramel Apple Craze. So this is described as creamy golden caramel, sweet red delicious apples and whipped vanilla invite you to be a trick or treater again. Hmm. That is, yeah, that's like a sweet caramelly apple. That is really nice. Then we have Havana Cabana. So this is described as luscious medley of pineapples, oranges, bananas, and berries. Ooh, that's nice. That is very nice. <clears throat> Never know, we might get that as a scent of the month, who knows. 
and then we have salted caramel toffee which I'm assuming will smell like the description the sweet scent of salted caramel takes melted toffee and butterscotch to new levels of indulgence oh that's that I don't know to me that almost is it like slightly fruity smell yeah that's that's yeah that's not as I expect it to be like really sweet and sickly that's not that is actually quite nice then we have iced pine so this is as refreshing as walk through the newly fallen snow green fir and pine kissed by icy peppermint oh. that's nice yeah I like that I'm trying to pick the pace up a bit because I've just noticed how long this video is becoming so then we have aloha citrus and this is a fresh tide of tangerine jade blossom and vetiver that's nice as well mm. um, so what's what is quite good is if any of these come back over there it means that at least I can get some to try and then we have pumpkin cinnamon swirl Fresh pumpkin garnished with cinnamon set in a dollop of whipped icing. Now, I think, yeah, we had this in the UK last winter, possibly. Um, it wasn't one I tried because it was coming towards the end of the catalogue season when I discovered Scentsy in the UK. But I recognised the picture of the sugar scrub and I do have um, a tub of it, I just haven't actually tried it. Then the next one is Lush Gardenia. So this is the creamy full scent of classic gardenia with a whisper of tuberose, um, or tuberose if you're in France. Um, oh, okay. That is good. If you like powdery florals and you can get this get it that is absolutely gorgeous oh, that is really nice though I suppose I am almost like trying to make a sales pitch for stuff that we can't get over here so I eat this cat just jump up on me Big his claws in my leg so then we have pumpkin roll so this is creamy pumpkin pie filling surrounded by yellow cake, pecan butter, pecans, butter and spice. Ooh, that's nice. That's really nice. I hope that a lot of these come back next year because there's loads that I want to try. So yes, yeah, Lush Gardenia. Definitely want to try and get some of that. And then we have one that I hear uh, Lisa Roberry talking about a lot which is Camu Camu so this is tropical oasis of lush mandarin Camu Camu and passion fruit and I have no idea what Camu Camu is um, I'm actually going to have a look now to see oh do you know I will insert um, a little picture of it here but it to me it looks very much like cranberries or very similar Ooh, ooh, I understand the hype around this now. It's, it's a very nice, hun, like to me, it's not overly fruity, but it is fruity. It's really hard to describe. I don't know if this is what the camu, camu fruit smell like, but I wouldn't, I don't get passion fruit. Um, I'm not sure I get mandarin. Unless it's just what the three of them combined smell like rather than as individual uh, scents. So then the last one is Homestead Holiday. So this is described as, if I can find a description. Offer the warmest of welcomes wrapped in a bounty of blood orange, cinnamon and fresh fir needle. Ooh, that's nice. I like that. 
it's fresh but wintry it's it's fresh but warming at the same time if that makes sense hopefully we might have some of these this year which would be really good so then on to the amazing little gifts off or additional little gifts off Naomi so these are all they're not alive so have two sensationals no better homes and gardens I, I can't read so this is fall into autumn and this is acorns green apple apple wood red cedar leaves and pear scent notes and it's in slight like dark purple wax well no not purple don't know what color it is my brain is switching off I've been in work for eight and a half hours um, that's nice that's like oh yeah falling to autumn I was going to say it's like a autumn fall type scent that's nice then the next one from Bed Homes and Gardens is Farm Apple and Pumpkin and this is Apple, Pumpkin, Cinnamon, Orange and Maple Butter and it's good this is good that's nice it's this oh yeah orange I was going to say I get hints of orange but sometimes you know can go rogue and you might pick up a scent note that isn't on the description and that could be that it's not there enough for them to list it or it could just be that a combination of them is making you think of something else because obviously, obviously scent is a very very personal thing <clears throat> then we have a sensationals apple pumpkin donuts with the strap line donut or oh, do not mind if I do so this is in like a brown wax um, which is part of the bakery fragrance family which is fairly understandable so then oh that's nice that's like a creamy apple I like that then we have caramel apple from fusion which I've never heard of um, so it's a Canadian import which is though I think it might be part of the sensationals group because it does say simply sensational uh, I think sensationals is American this says Provo which I assume you tease Utah and it's sensationals.com and this one says sensationals.ca so I assume it's sister company so this is caramel apple something that I don't think we generally get over here that's nice don't get much caramel not caramel I would have expected but it is very nice and then last but by no means least because I'm sure you're probably all bored of my voice by now as we are on like 40 odd minutes is a Sonoma brand which I've never heard of before and this is winterberry and spruce in this gorgeous deep red wax So let's have a sniff. Any scent notes? No. Ooh. This is Christmassy. This is a Christmassy scent, but it's not a spicy Christmassy scent. Oh. That's really nice. I'm actually still <coughs> currently burning or melting um, Mountain Man which Naomi very kindly sent me last time and it's absolutely gorgeous I love it um, I really wish we had it over here but then if we didn't if we did it probably wouldn't be a special because it wouldn't be something that 
has to come over um, based on the extreme kindness of someone else. Um, so yes, you will be glad to know that's it from this um, kind of, even though it doesn't like spatially look a lot, there is a hell of a lot of stuff here, um, especially all the extra bits of Naomi, which just so super kind and generous. Um, and yes, I um, feel really, really feeling the love with all of this, um, which is great um, after Covid where I did feel a bit, well, more than a bit down. Um, but yes, I, I now need to go and put all this away and, well, I can't because I need to label it all because me being me, I need to label everything with the dates that I had them and the scent notes because it means when I do my what I've been warming I've got all the scent notes to hand which is probably why this video is like almost twice as long as it needs to be but then I also like to date all my bars so that if I have multiple bars I know which order to melt them in and it also helps me decide if I've got some old bars to go right okay hey, you you now need to use these up but, Yes, um, thanks for joining me this evening, um, and sorry about my ramblings and my, yeah, definite ramblings. Um, I could probably cut out all the bits where I've been looking up the scent notes, but I know that it will take probably twice as long um, for me to do that, and then it would probably look a bit shabby. So um, yes, again, thank you for joining me and until next time, take care, stay safe, happy warmings and look after yourselves. See you soon.